Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and today is part 7 of our application class tutorial. And we're going to be looking at the load level. So let's open up our project, our scripts, or script. Now, load level, it's kind of a little confusing to new people when they first start because a level and a scene are used to describe the same thing. If you haven't already, go up to File, click Save Scene. Uh, it's going to ask you to name the scene since I've already had the scene before. It used uh, Demo 1. But just make sure you have a scene here. It'll look like this. Then go up and click New Scene. Then save the scene again. So it's going to ask you where you want to save it. I'm just going to drop it in the Assets folder. And let's call this one main menu. Now, like I said before, uh, Unity in the editor will call these scenes, but in their application class, they refer to them as levels. I generally just like to think of them as a place. Like, where are you? I'm on the, the main menu. I'm in the game. I'm, I'm in demo one scene. Uh, let's just go ahead and I'll show you how this works. So we've created this main menu scene. Double click it to make sure that you're there. You'll see at the top that it's called main menu.unity and all you should have up here is your main camera. So let's make another empty game object. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as game object for now. And we're going to want to create a new script. So I'm going to come over here into mono behavior, go into my assets folder, right click, and add new file. It's just going to be a general empty class. I'm going to call it main menu .cs. And we'll just click new. It should appear over here. And you're going to have it not really set up for Unity. I haven't figured a way in modern development to do it. You can go to any other script you have and copy the top part. All you really need to add is the, uh, these two things up here. I'm just going to copy the whole thing since it's not that long. I'll go back into main menu. Paint, whoop, cut, overwrite the whole thing. We'll just paste it. But we're going to get rid of everything that's in there. We'll have to change the name of the class to the name that we gave it, which was main menu. And if I turn caps lock off. There we go. Now if we come back over here, there should be no errors. There's our script. We're going to attach our main menu to the game object that we created. Right click, make sure it's there. Great. Let's go back to our main menu script. Let's go on to the on GUI function. So void on GUI and we're going to make a button right in the center of the screen. So it's G it's not going to do anything for now. I just want to place it there. So we'll go GUI dot button. Then you need a new rec for it. And we're just going to call it load demo one level. Now we've got to place it. We want it in the center of the screen. So an easy way to do this uh, would be to go screen dot width divided by two. Subtract the width that you're going to have your button be. I'm going to have mine be 100. So we're going to do 50, half of the button. Same for the height. Screen dot height divided by 2. Subtract the button height. Now I'm going to have mine be 30. So we'll do 50. So then you put the width in and the height. Now a better way to do this would have been to define the button width and height up here. And that way there you wouldn't have to uh, you have all your buttons be the same, and it's an easier way to change it, but we'll do that a little later on. 
So if we save this off, go back into Unity, hit play, you just get a button. And it's not big enough. So let's make it a little wider. We'll make it 200. Let's see, now we'll have to come all the way over here and change that number again. So we have one. Now if you click it, it doesn't do anything. So let's actually make it do something. If now what this does for people that are fairly new to Unity is you have this GUI button, and when you click it, it returns a true or false. Well, actually, it'll return true if, you, if it's being clicked. So let's throw a little bit of debug code in here. Debug dot log, and we'll just say clicked. So now when you click it, you'll see down here it says it clicked. Okay. So let's get to the application load part. The syntax for it is application dot load level. Now you have two options here. It can take an integer or a string. Now let me show you what this is referencing. Anytime you create a scene, when you go to build your application, you're going to have to add those scenes to your build settings. So we'll go build settings. Now the easy way to do it is just drag them in. Or you could also use add current, but I've already got main menu in there, so you, you don't need the same scene in there twice. So we'll just delete the second one. Now you'll notice up here that it has a name. And it also has an index. Up here you can specify the name or its index. I just want to specify for now just its name. So we call it demo1. And again, just take a quick look to see what I'm referencing. Move this over. I can't seem to get both on the same screen. So demo1, just this first part before the dot unity. If I wanted to reference the main menu, I just simply type in the main space menu string in here. Now let's see what this does. We've added them both. Let's close it off. Hit play. Now when you click it, it loads up our other scene. Which is this scene here. We'll save the old scene. So we're in demo one. We're in the main menu. So just think of load level as a way to change places in your game. I'll see you in the next tutorial.